Hey guys, Astro here, back with another video. Today I'm going to explain to you all, um, um, Fahrenheit Franken Starving Artist. Now this will include Starving Artist and Retaken Sanity and, um, Parasocial as well. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, as every subscriber and like helps grow the channel and push it out to more people. Now with that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Now, on with the video. So, essentially, I'm going to go over the first um, Starving Artist mod. Basically, we already know what happens. She's an overworked artist, an event and boyfriend asks for a commission. He goes over to ask to tell her what he wants for, her, for his commission. Eventually, we get in a rap battle, yada yada, and she collapses. Now, this is where the second update takes place. So, we see after Stella, wait, yeah, I'm just going to call her Stella, um, collapses. And it shows her waking up inside of her mind, I'm pretty sure. And it pans over to some sort of thing scratching on a board. Now, that tally chart will play into something later. Now, that is essentially... All her negative thoughts about herself all the thoughts like I can't do it I'll mess it up I'm so I'm too bad everything like that that's the embodiment of her self-esteem essentially so basically her self-esteem she lets her, her negative thoughts take over and they both have a rap battle to see who will power through and eventually Stella obviously powers through then she proceeds to regain consciousness in the hospital, where um, her mentor slash father figure, it's either her mentor or father, I'm not sure on the relationship between that, tells her it's this, she's gone ahead and overworked herself ag again. Now this is where the tally chart plays in. The tally chart shows seven, so that says there's seven accounts of her losing her sanity. Also, set, so that ties in with seven accounts of her overworking herself. So that's the correlation between the tally chart and the overworking. And now, then we have, um, what's they're all eating? Uh, Stella's, I'm just going to call her, him his father. Feel free to cor correct me in the description. Stella's father decides to rap battle BF. Which, as you can see, I got the placement around wrong in the video. But yeah, so then we've got the we got the second stage we they decided to go down to the beach for a beach party and as you can obviously see Stella and her father decided to have a rap battle with BF because BF was taken along now at the start of the song Stella is extremely shy and doesn't want to show her face but halfway through the song she starts to get more eccentric with her poses now this is the culmination as acknowledged by Seb later on, of her getting her confidence back. She went from being shy to being overconfident, which is good in terms of somebody's self-esteem. Now after that, you've got the music festival, I'm just going to call it that, that um, Seb and Stella go to, which is a giant performance. Now, they're obviously well known judging by the amount of crowd there is. So basically, yeah, you have a... They have a rap battle, and that's where the orig and that's where retaken sanity ends. Now we've got parasocial. Now parasocial is a bit different. Parasocial introduces us to a new character called Ben. Now Ben is is the janitor of Stella's apartment block, and from what I've gathered, he's a bit of a yander. Eh? He's a he's madly obsessed with Stella, and in the and he goes from being a typical yandere, like, oh, nobody can have you, in the first song, trying to basically break her sanity so he'll submit, oh, so she'll submit to him. But in the second song, it's where he goes a bit strange. He starts to rap battling about extremely grotesque things. Essentially, he's going from yandere to yangere. Where a yandere is somebody that will kill to stay with whoever they like or love. Yangere is where, where they will kill the person they like and keep the, their body 
and do a multitude of things to that body. Um, I'm not going to go into depth to that. I'm pretty sure that's what a Yangere is. I'm pretty sure Yangere is a step higher where of a Yandere, where their mentality is nobody can have him or her, then no, if I can't have them, then no one can. So essentially, that's that mentality. So they have a rap battle, and eventually, Stella overpowers Ben and yeets him out a window. No. It seems like Ben has gotten crushed, but at the end, it shows a pool of blood, the broken window, and some footsteps. So that tells us Ben is still alive. So that is probably going to lead into the next update, where we find out more about Ben. Now, that's all I have and what I've gotten. Just feel free, this is what I've personally gotten for the mod. If you don't agree with it, leave a, leave a comment in the description. Just trying to give con some constructive criticism. Don't just be a troll or a hater and just slam your head on your keyboard and say that's okay. And yeah, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Astronomical, out.